there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Passage of Skin. It's such a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Today, we're checking out the PS Plus games for October 2017 from Hong Kong. Now, I've already kind of had a look at this, so we're going to quickly go through it, but we'll have a quick word about what's going on with the PlayStation Plus after the video. So, here, let's check it out. Oh, yes, more games for free. So, yeah, it's PS Plus October lineup for Hong Kong does include... Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Exactly the same as Europe and probably America because this is a big enough title that it's actually going to be across all of these. But the biggest thing was it's not about this being big. It's about Strike Vector VX EX being the title for this month considering that Amnesia Collection was the title for Hong Kong last month. So this was an American title that wasn't available to EU people and then it's now being swapped around and now being available to people from Hong Kong. Uh, Hugh as well is being covered for PS Plus. Uh, uh, the weird thing is that the PS Plus Hong Kong, the PlayStation Asia store, does talk about the smaller titles in Space Free Brawl. Also a title that is Hong Kong only. I don't think it's actually available. And Space Free Brawl isn't on the list. Yes, it isn't on the list. And of course, a 90% off discount for Dead Rising 2, which interesting for people who actually are interested in the PlayStation or in Dead Rising 2. The package that was actually originally done for those was uh, Dead Rising 1, Dead Rising 2, and Off the Record, I think it was, was actually the three games together. But um, I'm not, I wasn't a big fan of Dead Rising's um, mechanics in the first one, and the second one didn't seem to actually massively improve that in, in much of a way that actually seemed relevant to me enjoying it. So I will probably be avoiding the, 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 fray, the, the rig, heavily discounted game. But what I wanted to talk about specifically was Strike Factor EX being the title for PlayStation Hong Kong this month, whenever it was the title for America last month, and uh, Amnesia Collection being on EU and American accounts now for this month so essentially what we've got is a balancing counterbalancing from one month to the other whether i don't whether it's an issue where they're not getting the agreement on a certain time for a certain game or they're purposely scheduling games for another time for example october and halloween maybe they wanted to have a scary game specifically and they had already got a deal for it for one place for one month and they wanted to actually move it on to another month that that's what that's what makes me think that they're doing this with playstation plus but uh the fact that we're going to be seeing the same games rotated around them, I'm not a fan because I do own, I have PlayStation Hong Kong and PlayStation Europe. I actually have well, an account for each, or sorry, a PS Plus Europe and a PS Plus for Hong Kong. I actually pay for both of those. And I would like to see titles that are different so I can actually get a wider spread. But I'm kind of glad that I actually don't miss out on any games in the same way because uh, I'll get to play a game before other people are going to get it to play it for free. Well, some months I'll actually be getting it the month afterwards. Um, I've wanted to play Strike, to, Strike Factor EX for a while because I actually like myself a good shmup. So, um, yeah. I'm not, I'm not disappointed by the choices this month. Um, in fact, the PlayStation Hong Kong appeals to me a little bit more than the PlayStation Europe or PS Plus Europe for this month because I, Amnesia was never a game of interest to me. I don't like those kind of games. So, um, even whenever I got it last month, I still didn't play it. So this month, people are going to be getting a game that I wouldn't have played anyway. Meanwhile, I will be playing a game that I missed out on because I don't have an American PS Plus account. So uh, if we've got this rotation going on, that Europe will have a game that America will then have, then they'll be passed on to somebody the, to Hong Kong, and we keep this rotation going, so there's always going to be one game that you're not going to get from one to the other to the next month. Not disappointed in that, but I would like to see a bit more kind of unique titles showing up. Uh, PlayStation Hong Kong, PS Plus Hong Kong, you've got games like Icy that actually were sitting on your service for months, long before they were going to be anywhere else. Support that. I mean, even if I, I, I wasn't, I was, I was disappointed in the past, back whenever you were getting a game that was actually in Chinese, but that's because I don't, don't speak Chinese, and it makes complete sense for where it's actually from. So um, whenever I got Root Letter in Chinese, after, like right, right before I bought it in, uh, here in English, uh, I was a little bit disappointed. But I, I'd rather be seeing stuff like that uniquely coming from an area rather than actually being a, a generic molasses that all countries are getting the exact same games. So guys, if you actually thought it was interesting, a little bit of commentary that I actually had about the PlayStation Plus and the Mornings were released this month, then make sure to hit the subscribe or the like or the follow or whatever it actually means. Whatever means of um, association you can make with this video and me in some way, shape, or form. And if you don't want to do that, then always remember, you can just memorize the name, pass your skin, I'm easy to find, search for me. I'm not going to be too far away. I'm not trying to hide. And if you haven't been watching this on YouTube, button up there, I would really like you to press. That would actually be very helpful. Uh, over here will actually be the most recent playlists, and over on the far side will actually be the uh, most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you, based on the user analytics and the things based, uh, the 
YouTube picks up from you searching and doing stuff on the channel. It'll pick a video based on my channel that you will like most and we'll place it right here. So I highly recommend you check that one out. Thank you very much for watching and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.